Hi everybody, I'm DJ Foster here on Thursday, October 13th out of Grand Valley State football practice as the Lakers get ready for their trip to Lake Erie this weekend. I'm joined as always by Grand Valley State head football coach Matt Mitchell. Coach, last Saturday had a 42-7 convincing road victory at Northern Michigan. Uh, the defense played very well. You gave up 382 yards, but you only gave up the seven points and the defense uh, committed five turnovers, you know, forced five turnovers, four interceptions. Eric Thompson took one uh, 95 yards for the score. Just talk, how, talk about how impressive the defense was last Saturday. Uh, we did a good job of keeping the ball in front of us. Carter Kopach was dangerous. Um, we didn't play a whole lot of man coverage. We tried to play a little bit more zone, and so um, we did give up some yardage, but a little bit of that was by design. We knew that there was going to be some stuff he was going to be able to do. We swung up the big plays, and then we also knew when they got down the red zone that we could pressure him and take advantage of some things, and uh, that's where uh, that's probably where we shine the best. I started getting down inside the 20, and we got some turnovers and got some stops for some field goal attempts. We blocked one. They missed another one. Uh, so, you know, we talk about that a lot of times in our program that, you know, you know, based on our calls, we may give up a little bit of yards, but spacing is condensed. And let's be great in the red zone when we were Saturday. As good as your defense was, your offense may have been even better. Uh, a fun stat that I found just looking around is that Heath Parling had more touchdowns, five, than incompletions, four. Uh, the offense as a whole played very well. They we ran for 200 yards in addition to Heath's five touchdowns. Just talk about how the offense played. Well, the offense uh, really played well and it got us off to the start. I mean, I think getting off to a 21 nothing start was important, and that was both sides of the ball working together. Um, yeah, very efficient on offense. That that's a tough defense. You know, they um, they do a lot of different things up front, and they've always been physical. And so uh, our performance against those guys, I think, is more impressive uh, scoring maybe the 35 points they did than maybe even 70 against Tiffin just based on the competition. So, um, you know, Heath put together back-to-back -back games where he's really making good decisions, right. um, both getting us in the proper plays then when the ball snapped. And so I'm hoping that's um, going to be an indication of things that are going to come later on down the road. Uh, you look at, sometimes you see NFL teams or hear about them giving out a game ball after the game. Uh, they don't do it all the time, but I think in big wins they do. If you had a chance to give a game ball this past weekend, who do you think you would have given it to? Tough, DJ. Uh, you know, anytime uh, somebody has two picks, that's kind of, that's rare, and return one for a touchdown. So Eric Thompson would probably be the top of the list. It's hard to argue when your quarterback throws five touchdown right. passes, and then you come back with one receiver as four touchdown mm -hmm. catches. So those are guys statistically that uh, would be up there. I tell you, a guy that's been playing great all year and really blocked his butt off for us was Israel Warfork. Sure. And if I had to give like an unsung hero award a little bit, uh, maybe go to him. So I don't know. It's tough. I, I'm a defensive guy, so if I had to say <laughs> one, probably Eric Thompson. Sure. Now, looking ahead to Lake Erie, as we talked about uh, on Monday in the press conference, Sean Bedeves. Bedevelski, their quarterback, is ninth in the conference in total offense. Um, he's a handful, and as, I, as we were saying uh, the other day, it looks like their record's a little deceiving. They're one and five overall, zero uh, and five in the conference, but their offense is better than it looks. Uh, talk about the storm a little bit. Yeah, that, that's where he's the best player on their whole team, no doubt. Number thirteen, their quarterback, and uh, you know at the beginning of the year they start off a little bit slow. They only scored thirteen points against Gannon, ten points against Michigan Tech, but I think that's a product of their offense. It takes a little while for option offenses to kind of get going, and I think as the year. You know, as the season's progressed, he's gotten more and more dangerous, put up some really big rushing totals last week against Wayne State. We had our troubles with him last year mm -hmm. when he came in. So I think that the key to the game is we got to slow down 13, both with the run and the pass. And, uh, you know, we can't afford to have any turnovers on offense. We have to be opportunistic. If there's one matchup that really favors Grand Valley, i got to believe it's our offense versus their defense. And uh, so I think, you know, again, for us on defense, getting some stops, getting some field position, and when offense gets their possessions, they got to take advantage of them. You mentioned the trouble you had with Lake Erie last year. In the first half here, you were up 27-23 at halftime, but they were right there with you. You outscored them 30 to nothing in the second half to kind of make the score a little more lopsided. But is one of the things you kind of been uh, trying to emphasize this week is getting out to a better start? Yeah. And if you look at our record, we're three and three, and we've got off to a good start and had leads uh, at halftime and been in the driver's seat. We've we've played well. We were down at halftime to Hillsdale. We were down at halftime to Indianapolis. We're down at halftime at Finley. Yeah. So that's been the record a little bit. If you look at turnovers and if you look at the end of the first quarter and the second quarter, scores have been indications. So you're right. And with another tough road game, how we the start that we get off to, the approach our guys have is probably going to be a better indication of success than anything else. As we said, Lake Erie's played. They played Saginaw tough. They played gave Hillsdale all they could handle, uh, and then played Wayne State tough for for a half. And, and put up some, some uh, big rushing yards on them. What do you think is going to be the biggest facet uh, of the game this week to, uh, to getting the victory? Well, I tell you, they, they have a dive, they have a, the quarterback keeper, and they have the pitch. It's going to be discipline, and probably the biggest thing is, um, you know, it's not gang tackling, it's not pursuit and option-based offenses. We're going to have one guy that's got to tackle one of those phases. That guy has to make that tackle for us. And uh, so our tackling on defense assignments and making sure we tackle when we're in position to tackle, that's going to be a big thing. I think that's what you saw against Wayne State is that guy's there, they didn't make the plays. Right. We have to have guys there, and those guys have to make plays when the number's called. That's probably going to be the biggest thing on it for us. 
Grand Valley State Lakers head to Painesville, Ohio this weekend for a 7 o'clock night game against Lake Erie College Storm. Mitch, thanks for joining us today. All right, thank Best you. Best of luck this weekend. Yep.